You've got blockchain assets on one chain, but you want them on another chain. Axelar can help with our on-chain send token method. Hello everyone, my name is Stephen Fluin, and today I'm going to be demonstrating how to use the on-chain send token method that's available on every Axelar gateway across all the EVM chains that we support. In order to demo this, I'm going to be pulling up a real smart contract from scratch. We're going to be building it together, and then I'll be showing you which methods to call and what parameters to be providing. So let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to dive into Remix to show you that we can build this fully from scratch in a very, very simple smart contract. So let's go ahead and get set up with a very basic smart contract. So I'm just going to throw in a pragma here, uh, Solidity version 080, because we don't actually care uh, which version of the compiler as long as it's on the latest series. And then I'm going to scaffold out a very, very simple contract. We'll say contract send token. All right, the first thing I'm going to want to do with my new smart contract that we've got is actually do the appropriate imports so that we have the Axlar gateway and the token that we can interact with on the blockchain. So let's go ahead and do these two imports. So the first thing I'm going to import is called an iAxlar gateway. This is just the interface for the smart contract that exists on every blockchain that is the Axlar gateway. This will give us access to that send token method as well as lots of other helper methods that exist on that destination gateway. So let's go ahead and import that from Axlar Network slash Axlar GMP SDK Solidity. And we're going to get it from the contracts folder interfaces iAxlarGateway.Sol. All right, that's our first import. And the second import we're going to need is actually to interact with a token, an ERC20 token. We're just going to go ahead and use Open Zeppelin's. Uh, they have a very nice ERC20 interface here that can just say ERC20, IERC20.Sol. And now we actually have access to interact with tokens across the blockchain. So uh, in order to interact with that gateway and that token, we're going to need addresses for those for the blockchain that we're working on. So let's just go ahead and add that to the constructor. And so we're going to take in two addresses here. We're going to take in an address for the gateway and we're going to take in an address for the token. And in order to save those in our contract, we'll just save these as public immutable variables on the contract. So we'll just say public immutable and we'll call this one gateway. And then we'll say IERC20 public mutable token. And we'll go ahead and just use our, our constructor here to assign those. So we're going to say our gateway is actually going to be an IXR gateway at the gateway variable address. And our token is going to be an IERC20 token at the address that we have specified. So that was basically all the setup we have. So whenever we deploy the smart contract to a blockchain, we're going to need to specify where is the gateway and what is the token we're actually interacting with. Uh, but then from here, let's actually go ahead and build a method that's going to interact with the gateway and send those tokens across blockchains. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new uh, send function. We'll just make it public for this demo. And I'm going to need to do this in a couple steps. So the first step I'm going to do need to do is I'm going to need to approve the spend of that token by the gateway. So we'll just interact with the token uh, to do that using the standard approve method. And then we'll interact with the gateway to send the token. Uh, in order to just help myself, I'm going to actually specify an amount here. And I'll just say one token. And I know that this token has six decimals. So we'll say one times 10 to the sixth power. Uh, now we actually have that amount. We can call those methods that exist on the token. So we'll say token.approve. This is just a standard ERC method. And we'll give it the address of our gateway and say that it is allowed to spend up to amount of our tokens. Uh, and then the second half is actually now just interacting with the gateway. We're going to go ahead and use the send token method that exists there. And this needs four parts. It's going to need to basically need all the information that uh, you would need to specify and uniquely identify the destination chain, the wallet or the contract address that we want to send to, the token that we're sending, and the amount. So let's go ahead and pick each of these. So we're going to send over to Avalanche. We're actually going to deploy this to Polygon to start. Uh, for address, let's just go ahead and copy our wallet address here. So we're sending it to ourselves on a destination chain. And the asset that I'm going to be sending today is a USDC, uh, and then we will just send over an amount. Um, so if you're ever curious what the assets you can send are, you can always go ahead and take a look at the Axor Docs. So we're in the Axor Docs Resources Testnet section here, uh, and you can see all of the gateway contracts for all the EVM chains that Axor supports, as well as all of the addresses for all of the tokens. And so uh, what we'll actually do when we deploy our smart contract here is we'll use those addresses and symbol names. Um, and if you don't have any of these configured in your, your MetaMask, it's very easy to just click on one of these icons. MetaMask will pop up. You can add the token, and you'll actually be able to see and interact with it via MetaMask. 
Uh, and let's actually go ahead and now just double check that our contract has been built correctly. Um, obviously, if you're building this in uh, the real world, you probably want a withdraw method because you're going to be having a contract that's holding tokens uh, just in case you mess something up. Uh, and now let's go fix the typo that we actually had in our open Zeppelin slash contracts. Here we go. Uh, we should be able to compile our send token uh, contract here. Perfect. Now we're going to actually use the injected provider to interact with our wallet to deploy this contract to the blockchain. But in order to deploy it, we actually need uh, a couple things. You need that gateway and the token. So let's just go ahead and copy these directly from the documentation. Uh, so we're going to be deploying to Polygon. So we're going to copy the gateway contract address and we're going to be sending a USDC. So we'll copy that same thing for Polygon here. And now we can transact that. That will actually deploy this contract to the Polygon testnet. Uh, and as soon as that is deployed, we should be able to see it and actually see it as a deployed contract. So as we talked about, uh, because we're doing this from a theoretical DAP or from a theoretical smart contract, we actually need to give this DAP a little bit of a USDC in order to, for it to be able to send. So let's go ahead and copy this contract address and let's go ahead and use MetaMask to send the one of the AUSDCs that we have over to our smart contracts. We're just going to send, paste in the address of our smart contract and give it one AUSDC. Uh, so as soon as this is complete, that uh, one token will be held by our smart contract and it will then be able to approve that spend by the smart contract gateway that's coming from Axelar. And then Axelar will actually take that token uh, and pass it over to the destination blockchain. So let's just verify here. Our smart contract has a gateway. Our smart contract has a token. We deployed it on the Polygon Mumbai testnet. And now because that transaction is confirmed, we actually should be able to go ahead and call the send method. So this is another on-chain transaction, which is going to initialize and pass that token approval and pass that token over to the gateway. And then the Axlar gateway is going to be responsible for delivering it to that destination. Um, and one of the cool things you can do actually here is you can actually paste either the contract address uh, or the uh, if you kind of look in here, you can take that transaction hash. And we're actually going to jump over to Axelor Scan, which is uh, the explorer that can monitor these really, really complex interchain transactions. So we'll just go ahead and paste in that transaction hash. Uh, and if we've done everything correct, what we should see here is that we've got our one USDC going from Polygon to Avalanche, and you can monitor the entire process, everything that's happening on the source chain, everything that's happening on the Axelor network, where you've got that uh, set of independent decentralized validators voting uh, to confirm the truth that this transaction actually happened on the source chain and waiting for finality, and then all the way to those tokens being delivered on the destination chain. So with that, what we've done is we've taken a smart contract, built a really minimal dApp, given it the superpower of sending assets across chains. Uh, and so that is going to be it for this demo. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Thank <laughs> you.